listen, I know it's been a while since our last visit, Michael, but your mom sounded pretty urgent on the phone. That's why we got you in here so quickly. Think you can tell me why she was so worried? I crossed my legs and stared at my clipboard as he sat on a chair staring at the floor. His long red hair greasy, his beard unkept and his clothes were dirty. He looked like hell. Your mom said you came home from college out of the blue, that you were acting like something terrible was gonna happen. She said she caught you hiding in your room with a gun. You want to tell me what that's about? Again, he stayed silent. The humming of the radiator murdering the silence. My patience began to run thin at that point. I let out a faint sigh and started writing in his chart. As much as I wanted to handle this delicately, I knew I had to be blunt. Michael, are you suicidal? No. But I'm gonna die. It's coming after me like it did the others. We've all tried. No one can stop it. Not even you. Please. Please don't waste your time. My eyes widened as the words were shaken out of his mouth. I watched tears flood out of his eyes. He was truthful. Whatever the hell this was, it was real. At least to him. What do you mean someone's coming for you like the others? Is someone threatening you and your friends? We don't know what it is. Alex was the first to get the letter, and we all just laughed it off, thought it was some joke. But Alex was found dead hanging in his room two days later. It was the letter. It had to have been. So, how do you know it was the letter? It could have been a coincidence. Because the same thing happened to Jason. Cole was found with a stomach full of pills and... And Aaron was found with a bullet in his head. They all got the letter. We've tried everything. Burning it, tearing it up. Just anything to get rid of it. But it keeps coming back and gets sent to another. No one can escape it. No one can stop it. And I'm its next victim. I got the letter five days ago. You're wasting your time. What does the letter say? See for yourself. I brought it with me. I just don't know what to do anymore. I stood there dazed as this boy sobbed in pure terror. The letter he handed me was in pristine condition. No tears, char marks, nothing. I looked at him puzzled, but he was swift to reply. It just keeps appearing, and when it does, it comes back perfectly fine. My hands trembled as I, as I held what could be the thing responsible for all these deaths. I slowly opened it and delicately pulled out the letter. As I began reading, my blood ran cold. You've been selected. Please take this time to say goodbye to your family and get your affairs in order. You will meet your demise like all the other recipients before you have. There is no place to hide. No place to run. No one can help you. Your fate has been sealed. 
you have seven days. I stood frozen in disbelief. All these deaths because of a letter? No. It wasn't real. It couldn't be. Michael, I'm going to prescribe you some antidepressants. Something to get your mind off things. Deep down, I knew I should have helped. But a part of me was saying this was just an act for attention. A simple psych episode. Either way, I just wanted him out of my office. And the pills seemed to be the quickest route. He left soon after. Didn't say a word. I gave his mother my number and told her to call if anything happens. That night, I left the office with guilt flooding through me. Whatever happened next was preventable. I could have put him on a psych hold, let him stay at my house, anything to keep him from dying. And that was three days ago. I thought it was all just a psych problem. I didn't think he'd die. Until he did. He was found yesterday morning in his room. His wrists were slit with a razor blade. The bottle of antidepressants laid on the nightstand. Empty. His mother called me that night. Her sobbing sent shivers down my spine as she described her finding him dead. But what she said, it sent shivers down my spine. I thought you were supposed to help him. I could have helped him. I should have helped him. I'm writing here to ask someone, anyone for help, because today I received a letter in my mailbox. My heart missed a beat as I stared at the pristine white envelope, and as I tore it open and began reading, my blood ran cold. Those three words sealed my fate. You've been selected. <laughs>